I'm going to show you one, a couple more set plays uh, that are sort of your classic set plays uh, that you see out of each formation. Uh, so we talked about a side stack. Another super common way to use a side stack effectively is to bring someone out into the lane and send them deep. What we're looking for here is this back defender. Well, first of all, if this player is still fronting, then this, remember this is your best thrower with the disc, this is a great option for a leading pass deep, okay? But if you bring this person out into the lane and this defender starts to read, uh, or this, this player starts to read that this defender is helping, when they go deep, sorry, this player's making the read on their defender, they go deep, the defender helps, and then this person comes under, this person's recovering, and now this person is the continuation, okay? Classic side stack set play. We created a big space, we isolated a cutter, we created dynamic situations, we made the defenders make a read, hopefully we get a pass, all right? Now this, this situation becomes harder if the mark is different, but remember, we're making the assumption that this player right here is going to be able to solve that situation with the other people involved. Maybe that's breaking a mark, or maybe there's certain um, patterns that you run when the mark is that way. That's up to you. All right, so that's a side stack play. Uh, let's take a look at, oh, let's take another, uh, another different formation. Um, this is uh, a split stack formation. You've got three players on one side and two players on the other. Um, one of the benefits of a split stack is it, it there's there's less sort of stereotypical handlers in the handler space, so that's how it creates space. Um, and usually what you're gonna do is whatever side the disc is on, you're gonna run some type of pattern with the two cutters downfield to um, put the defenders on their heels or try to make them make a switch and then you're hoping that they mess up. So one common one to run to the two side is you'll just have one player, you know, do some type of strong initiation where they sort of cut deep, where the other person cuts under, the thrower might be throwing pump fakes, you've got this little inside look if you want, and if that's not there, this person now has this big space to come, up, come underneath. That's really typical out of um, a split stack. Um, another common one, if, maybe if the ball is over here, you know, we could run a little miniature flood play where, you know, a lot of defenders, this, this defender will be like, ooh, I'm last back, I want to help out these defenders. So we just take these two defenders. Okay, so let's just take a look at this. Um, so the ball is here. We don't have any handlers in this space. We flood these two across, and now we've got this big space here. We're assuming this player can break the mark. We hit them, and then a continuation comes from one of these players. So that's a really common split stack formation. Uh, we talked last week about horizontal stack um, and you know the typical plays that you can run out of horizontal. There's lots of other plays. You can invent your own plays. You can come up with your own names. It doesn't have to be the same as what some other team did or you know what you know what um, Fury does or Riot does or you know Revolver or Sockeye like. Invent your own name. Like invent something that means something to your player, uh, to your players, or to your team, and yeah, do it however you want to do it.